In this problem, we're told a small plane tows a glider at a constant speed and altitude. If the plane does 2 times 10 to the 5 joules of work to tow the glider 145 meters, and the tension in the tow rope is 2,560 newtons, what is the angle between the tow rope and the horizontal? So as usual, you want to draw what's going on. So we have this plane towing this glider, and we know the tension in this rope that's going to be pulling it is 2,560 newtons. It's going to carry at a distance or pull at a distance of 145 meters. And we know the work that this is going to take is 2 times 10 to the 5 joules. And what we're trying to solve for is the angle between this rope and the horizontal. So what we're going to say is this is the horizontal. And I drew it where there's 0 degrees, but keep in mind what we're trying to find is the angle between basically this rope and where this is at. So the plane could be down here or it could be up here. And what we're trying to find is that angle. So keep in mind my drawing isn't accurate because we actually don't know where it's going to be yet. But that's what we're going to be solving for. So how do we want to do it? So the way we're going to do it is by using the formula for work, which basically tells us work equals the force applied times the distance traveled times the cosine of theta. And so what we're trying to be solving for, or what we're solving for in this problem, is theta. So theta is the angle between uh, where the force is being applied and the horizontal, which is what they're asking us for. So we want to solve for theta, but if we want to solve for it, we need the distance, we need the force, and we need the work. And luckily, in this problem, we're just given all three. They give us the work, and they give us the force being applied, and they give us the distance traveled. So all we got to do is just plug it in and solve for theta. So the work is 2 times 10 to the 5 which equals the force, so the force is just the tension, which is 2,560, times the distance traveled, which is going to be 145, times the cosine of theta. So if we want to solve, you should divide by these two numbers. That's going to cancel there, and you're just going to get 2,560 times 145 over here. So what you should get is cosine of theta equals this right here, so 2 times 10 to the 5, divided by 2560 times 145. And if we want to find theta, to get rid of the cosine, you have to take the arc cosine of both sides. So take the arc cosine of both sides, it's going to cancel that, and you'll get theta, or the angle we're solving for, is going to be the arc cosine of 2 times 10 to the 5 over 2560 times 145. So what you want to do is just go ahead and plug this in your calculator. So do the cos or arc cosine of this, and when you do that, you'll get theta, or the angle we're solving for, is 57.3984 and so on. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and round. So I'm just going to say it's about 57.4, and keep in mind this is in degrees. So 57.4 degrees, that's going to be the angle between the tow rope and the horizontal. So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.